Hi, my name is Josie. I'm one of the catechists here at Incarnation, and I'm in our atrium, which is our kids' room here at church. And we're going to use some of our materials here to help us um, as we hear the gospel reading. You all know that we are in the season called Lent, and we're thinking about the words, Christ has died, Christ is risen. We're going to read from the Bible something that Jesus said to help his disciples understand the things that were about to happen. Truly, truly, I say to you, Unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. Jesus was talking about a grain of wheat. Let's look more closely at these wheat seeds. They are before being planted. Pretty small hard. In this pot, um, Jack planted these about a week ago. So we'll, some have already begun to sprout. Let's see. Here's some that have sprouted. You can see roots starting to form. And you can still see this shell of the seed. there but it's a little softer it's beginning to change in this pot and that's planted with the same wheat seeds same type of wheat seeds a couple of weeks ago Let's see if we can find one So this, you can see the shells of the seeds still there, but they're, they're just shells. They're not hard anymore. They're starting to disappear. And if these were cared for in a field, grow into stalks of wheat and do seed. There are so many seeds. That came from one seed. That someone could grind to make into wheat flour. So what Let's think again about what Jesus was saying about the wheat seed. And what he was telling his disciples about his death. Kim made this beautiful prayer card for us. Showing the way the seed transforms. Let's read it again. Unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. <laughs> 